today uh, I want to talk to you about uh, advanced Bayesian approaches for modeling soil carbon sequestration. This project is uh, supervised by uh, Gent uh, Gentry White, Chris Rovandi, and Dan Pagendom. Uh, the dramatic uh, uh, rise of uh, the atmospheric CO2 concentration level since the Industrial Revolution because of human activities has been a cause for cancer and attention as uh, this phenomenon has a lot of impacts in our uh, environment and uh, uh, our planet. As you see, as you can see in this picture, the atmospheric CO2 concentration level uh, is uh, in the highest amount over the past 800,000 years. In fact, uh, carbon uh, doesn't destroy or disappear in the nature. It just moves from one uh, storage reservoir to another. And um, soil is one of the largest uh, carbon uh, reservoirs and larger scale carbon emission from the soil into the atmosphere has many impacts on uh, global climate change, soil quality and uh, uh, crop productivity. On the other hand, uh, soil has a high capacity to store a large amount of carbon. And uh, this storage of carbon into the soil is uh, known as soil carbon sequestration. And the benefits of soil carbon sequestration are reducing the atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases, improving agricultural productivity, and yielding financial gains for farmers through the sale of carbon credits. But uh, the problem with this approach is that our understanding of uh, sequestration process is imperfect. But uh, several studies have been conducted uh, into quantifying uncertainty in the uh, in, uh, sequestration process. And uh, in this project, uh, for modeling soil carbon sequestration, uh, we consider methods which are computationally, computationally efficient. As I mentioned, uh, farmers uh, would like to sell their carbon credits. Uh, so if uh, they uh, to estimate the amount of carbon they have sequestered in their farmlands, if they use a method which is not computationally efficient, as uh, in, in a couple of studies uh, they are used, uh, so uh, it, it would take them a couple of uh, weeks uh, to estimate the amount of carbon they have sequestered in their farmlands. Secondly, uh, the complexity of models. We uh, would like to use a model which learns most from the data and captures all the features of uh, soil organic carbon. To this end, uh, as our model is a Bayesian hierarchical uh, um, framework, uh, we uh, would like to estimate uh, our unobservable estate uh, variables in our process model through a Robert likewise particle filter. And uh, we estimate our uh, parameters in our parameter model through the correlated pseudo marginal method. Also, we compared several uh, uh, soil organic uh, uh, carbon models from the simplest one, which is a one pool model to more complex one, which is a five pool model. And uh, based on uh, leaf future out cr uh, cross validation, we have got that uh, three pool model performs better than uh, other uh, models. And we should consider uh, microbial biomass in our uh, model. These are, uh, these are some references that uh, are used in this presentation. And thank you for your attention.